And here we are, January the 8th of 2010. It's a Saturday, my last full day in Vegas. And this begins my walking tour of the Strip. This is where I'm staying, the Roadway Inn, which used to be the Villa Roma, right here on Convention Center Drive. The whole thing, right here. See, and down there, the convention center, so it's a nice seven minute walk or so to get there. Well, let's see what else we can see on the strip. Okay, we are at the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Convention Center Drive, and this is what's left of what was the Western Ho, the Stardust, and down there, the uh, Frontier. This is all that's going up in the echelon, which has been replaced. These, those three hotels, this is it. A huge lot with some uh, girders up there, and that's it. That's all that's up there right now. And what I hear, it may never get completed either. So that's it. All that's there. No idea what this one is. Down there, of course, the Circus Circus. We're going to check out some of the other new ones now on this trip. On this beautiful sunny day here in January. It's very typical CES traffic. <laughs> the show's still going on. This is one of the new ones. This is the Encore. Nice curved building. And the sun is right in front of it, so I'm obscured by a palm tree right now, which is great. But this is the Encore right across from what was the frontier. Here's a panoramic view of what was to be the uh, echelon on the old Stardust and Frontier uh, lots. They got something done, but not a whole lot. And this is, I guess, where it ended a couple years ago. Ran out of money. It's a shame. Anyway, across the street we have three new hotels in a row. Here's the Encore. Next to that is the win. Both kind of very strange shapes. And over there is one I didn't even know about called the Palazzo. I have no idea what was on these sites before these monstrosities went up, but there's three new ones right in a row here on the strip. Way back here is the Trump Tower kind of off the strip a little bit. And over here is the entrance of the Fashion Show Mall. Very, very sharp. I remember when they were remodeling this in the late 90s. Very, very good. a nice shot of the Palazzo with this giant TV screen here. And here's the Fashion Show Mall entrance. And then everything in Vegas, they do big. It's just big. Everything is so clean, this is shut up. A lot of shoe stores here, I see. front of the Palazzo, standing right across the street, thicker than I thought. It's got all this. Looks like they're already adding on to it, too. <laughs> Here's the Venetian. That's where the Sands was many years ago. This building right here is all new. and looks like it's not done yet. Making our way down to the end of the strip, go to the MGM. And we are right under the Mirage Marquee. Mirage is fine. Let's see how good this comes out in HD video, this waterfall. It's come out great. Building went up 
over 20 years ago, back in 1989. the entrance way, totally remodeled from when I worked here. No surprise. Just beautiful. Next to it is something new, the Cosmopolitan. Just opened up about a week ago. But this is, I have no idea, I'll find out. We just make our way down to the MGM. Here's a newfangled bus. This is really cool. They're almost all doubles. That's what it looks like. They used to be. This is the front of Planet Hollywood. I'm right on top of it, literally. Really cool. Across the street is the entrance of the Cosmopolitan. Very nice. Very pretty. Next to that is the Aria. Another new one. This is all new since I was here last. This, I'm guessing, is the city center across the street from the old planet Holly, or the old Latin. This is amazing. The new uh, pedestrian crossway going across the strip. And a whole bunch of new hotels and casinos. Beautiful. This is amazing. Just amazing. These shops here, very unique. That's all I can say. Very, very unique. This building looks like it's leaning. <laughs> it's not. Another bus in my way. Gorgeous, gorgeous. 